In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us prepare our hearts to celebrate the sacred mystery of the Eucharist by calling to mind our faults and asking God for his love, mercy, and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you came to gather all nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And our mass intention, our mass setting once again today is going to be for promoting of harmony. So let us gather all of our prayers together into one. O God, who have taught your church to keep all the heavenly commandments by loving you and loving our neighbor, grant us a spirit of peace and grace so that your entire family may be devoted to you wholeheartedly and united in pure purity of intent. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. After the death of Naboth, the Lord said to Elijah the Tishbite, Start down to meet Ahab, king of Israel, who rules in Samaria. He will be in the vineyard of Naboth, of which he has come to take possession. This is what you shall tell him. The Lord says, after murdering, do you also take possession? For this the Lord says, in the place where the dogs licked up the blood of Naboth, the dogs shall lick up your blood too. Ahab said to Elijah, have you found me out, my enemy? Yes, he answered. Because you have given yourself up to doing evil in the Lord's sight. I am bringing evil upon you. I will destroy you and will cut off every male in Ahab's line, whether slave or free man in Israel. I will make your house like that of Jeroboam, son of Naboth, and like that of Baasha, son of Ahijah. Because of you, because of how you have provoked, provoked me by leading Israel into sin. Again, against Jezebel too, the Lord declared, the dog shall devour Jezebel in the district of Jezreel. When one of Ahab's line dies in the city, dogs will devour him. When one of them dies in the field, the birds of the sky will devour him. Indeed, no one gave himself up to the doing of evil in the sight of the Lord as did Ahab, urged on by his wife, Jezebel. He became completely abominable by following idols, just as the Amorites had done, whom the Lord drove out before the children of Israel. When Ahab heard these words, he tore his garments and put on sackcloth over his bare flesh. He fasted, slept in the sackcloth, and went about subdued. Then the Lord said to Elijah the Tishbite, have you seen that Ahab has humbled himself before me? Since he has humbled himself before me, I will not bring the evil in his time. I will bring the evil upon his house during the reign of his son. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin cleanse me. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. For I acknowledge my offense, and my sin is before me always. Against you alone have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Turn away your face from my sins, and blot out all my guilt. Free me from blood guilt, O God, my saving God. Then my tongue shall revel in your justice. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. I give you a new commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. Alleluia, alleluia. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to our Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, You shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your heavenly Father. For he makes his sun rise on the bad and good, and causes rain to fall on the just and the unjust. For if you love those who love you, what recompense will you have? Do not the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet your brothers only, what is unusual about that? Do not the pagans do the same? So be perfect, just as your heavenly Father is perfect. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters, today our theme is each person we encounter is the opportunity for us to grow in love. Today we hear in Jesus' Gospel that Jesus wants to overturn the expectation that we are to hate our enemies. But here's the thing, in God's kingdom there is absolutely no room for hatred, and no one is named as an enemy or labeled as an enemy. Instead, each and every person we encounter, even those we dislike and those who dislike us, is an opportunity to grow in love. This is a challenging time for all of us throughout the world. And as these challenging times come upon us, we need to take heed of the gospel message to love one another. My brothers and sisters, Jesus tells us that there is no room for hate in this country. We have seen what hatred does, how it divides people. We are all sons and daughters of our Heavenly Father. We are all brothers and sisters through the one God. So, as we go throughout this day, let us think about those who we may have ill feelings for and pray for those who feel ill against us. There is absolutely no room in God's kingdom for hatred. Only you and I, through the grace of God, and the grace and wisdom of the Holy Spirit can change our hearts to be more loving and merciful. Out of care and humble service for one another, let us offer these prayers to our Heavenly Father. For the Church, May God draw us closer to himself through the most sacred heart of his divine Son, Jesus. Allowing our love for one another to help us grow in mercy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For President Trump and for all world leaders, that Jesus' teaching in today's Gospel may transform how they see others, especially with those with whom they disagree. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are persecuted, especially for Christians. May the Lord bring them reprieve and fortify their efforts in prayer and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For St. Mary's Parish, may the, God, may the God of love inspire conversion of hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died this day, for those who will die this day, and for all those who have nobody to pray for them. We pray that through the mercy of God, their souls may rest in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for the repose of the soul of Bartholomew Hoden. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we also pray for the special attentions of Mrs. Norton's nursery school class and her pre-K class as they end the school year that these children will be, receive the grace of God each and every day throughout the summer. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord our God, you are gracious in listening to our prayers. Hear and answer them as through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be thou forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you. For the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O God, who renew us in your image through the sacraments of your commandments, mercifully guide our footsteps in your paths, that through these sacrificial altar offerings which we bring, we may possess the gift of charity for which you have taught us hope. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through him you brought us the knowledge of your truth so that by the bond of one faith and one baptism, we might become his body. Through him you poured out your Holy Spirit among all nations, so that in a wondrous manner he might prompt and engage unity in the diversity of your gifts, dwelling within your adopted children and filling the ruling the whole of your church. And so the company and the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are your glory. 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 Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is you in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray. By sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior, Savior of the world, world for, for by your cross and resurrection, resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks, you withheld us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Edward, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs of eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At our Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, and mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, and mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am now worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ can be saved. May the blood of Christ be saved for eternal life. Let us now make our spiritual act of communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. the intercession of St. Michael the Archangel, let us pray for peace in our hearts and our families and the protection against Satan and evil in our lives. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection, protection against, against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God, God rebuke and we humbly pray. pray. And do thou over us the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, God cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl around the world seeking over the souls. Amen. Our Lady Queen of Peace for us. Let us pray. We have received, O Lord, the sacrament of unity. Grant us, we pray, that living in your house in holy accord, we may possess the peace we hand on and persevere with the peace we have received through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God.